Jonah, Jonah chapter 1. And the word of Yah came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, the great city, and cry out against it, for their evils have come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee to Tarshish from the presence of Yah, and went down to Jaffa, and found a ship going to Tarshish. And he paid the fare, and went down into it, to go with them to Tarshish from the presence of Yah. And Yah sent out a great wind on the sea, and there was a great storm on the sea, so that the ship was thought to be broken up. And the seamen were afraid, and each one cried out to his mighty one, and threw the cargo which was in the ship into the sea, to lighten the load. But Jonah had gone down into the lowest parts of the ship, and he lay down and was fast asleep. And the captain came to him and said to him, What do you mean, sleeper? Arise, cry out to your Elohim, if so be that Elohim should think about us, so that we do not perish. And they said to each other, Come, let us cast lots, so that we know for whose sake this evil has come upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. So they said to him, Please explain to us, for whose sake is this evil upon us? What is your occupation, and where do you come from? What is your country, and from what people are you? And he said to them, I am a Hebrew, and I am fearing Yah, the Elohim of the heavens, who made the sea and the dry land. And the men were exceedingly afraid, and said to him, Why have you done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of Yah, for he had informed them. And they said to him, What are we to do to you to make the sea calm for us? For the sea was growing more stormy. And he said to them, Take me and throw me into the sea, so that the sea becomes calm for you. For I know that this great storm is because of me. However, the men rowed hard to bring the ship to land, but were unable, for the sea continued to grow more stormy against them. And they cried out to Yah and said, We pray, O Yah, please let us not perish for this man's life, and do not lay on us innocent blood, for you, O Yah, have done as it has pleased you. And then they took Yonah and threw him into the sea, and the sea stopped raging. And the men feared Yah exceedingly, and slaughtered at slaughtering to Yah, and made vows. But Yah appointed a great fish to swallow Yonah, and Yonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. <laughs>